Hello, welcome back to the vlog. It is Saturday here at the Norris Ring and we've got not one but two new exciting things to talk about. We have sunshine, huzzah, and we have crowds. Lots and lots of different people all enjoying the festivities here in the uh, well, fan village, I suppose is the way to put it. A lot of different activities. We've got the usual thing, all the stalls, the different food courts, which is... Uh, Incredibly busy, serving up the usual glorious German fare. And then in the middle, we have got the podium where we have a DJ set on these various different interviews. Some of the uh, drivers from one of the other races this weekend are having their little interview. There's an esports section over there with some rigs running. Race room racing experience, which is very nice. Uh, around the Norris Ring in the DTM cars, of course. And then lots of different manufacturer stuff. There are some of the drivers just doing their little celebration bit, but I want to wander down here. I know it's not particularly touring car related, but hey-ho, we're here and it's exciting, so let's go take a look at it. There's no rules in this vlog, it is purely just walking, talking and finding good things. Look at this. This is the AMG One, the Formula One inspired car from Mercedes-Benz. Controversial time, I think it is ugly as sin, but it's also very, very fast and there's a chap of girth getting in the way. Look at that. Very pretty, very fast, very expensive, and ugly. Ugliest sin. But hey ho, no accounting for taste. And a nice GT car there as well. And there's uh, no prizes for guessing that that is some kind of AMG slash Mercedes theme stand. We've got loads of nice things. That little kiddie area for the kids to go and play. And then that's the, the podium again. There's a couple of tyre changing pit stop challenges and a test your own reactions. But you can just see how gloriously warm it is here at the Nürburgring. It's really completely 180 degree turnaround from uh, what we had yesterday in free practice one and two when it was absolutely sodded. We've just done uh, qualifying at the time of recording this vlog. So we'll be going into race one a little bit later this uh, afternoon so I'm expecting to be quite a bit of drama and it's a really nice place to be. Norris Ring, the DTM know how to put on a show anyway and the fans just absolutely flock. We anticipated there'd be in and around 100 to 140 thousand people here at the uh, Norris Ring for this event and it's proven to be the case. The world's obviously been locked down for a long time and it's few and far between are the opportunities to get on out there and mingle with your fellow human beings at large-scale celebratory sporting events so uh, yeah good stuff to see all of these people in this glorious weather watching some fantastic racing and our boys and girls in TCR Europe certainly know how to put a show on qualifying was spectacular it has to be said and I think uh, race one and two are going to be something quite impressive too so a quick look at this big beast we saw it back in Portimao, Red Bull had weird and wonderful big things. And here's another one. I have no idea what it is. I have no idea what it does, but it looks cool. So there you go, Red Bull know how to bring, uh, watch out for that. Courtesy of yesterday's rain, big dirty puddle. I've got white trainers on, so not the best combination in the whole wide world, but dodge that one, but there you go. Another strange and wonderful Red Bull thing. No doubt in there is the world's largest stereo, which will be pounding out when the cars get on the grid. So uh, very cool to see all these nice, weird and wonderful things. And just a bit further down here, we've got DTM Classic with us this weekend. What is DTM Classic, I hear you say? To tell you what it is, it's the most gorgeous collection of DTM historic touring cars one has ever laid their eyes on. In fact, look, there's a couple of the Yannick guys going to have a look at some of the spectacular machinery and also, to be quite frank, some spectacular drivers as well. There we go. Hans Stuck's car, driven by Hans Stuck. That ain't bad, is it? I'm hoping to find a little bit of time in my schedule later on to see these going round the circuit. And then we're going a bit more modern. I've not seen, I've not actually been down here yet when there's actually been cars in, but here we go, STW, or for those of us from a UK vintage, super touring cars. For me, the best touring car, the best racing cars that ever graced God's earth. Absolutely stunning rule set and regulations, and they are some very spectacular examples. Here we go, uh, this is a Group A BMW that we've got going on there as well. 
also very, very nice. My apologies, by the way, TCR fans, that you might be wanting to talk about TCR, but I'll be honest with you, our paddock's a long way away from where I am, and we've seen a lot of TCR cars recently, so I thought you might get a kick. I'd have seen something a little bit different. And also, it gives me a good reason to have a walk round and go on Mondeo. I don't see those very often in uh, DTM specification. Um, one of the many multitudes of uh, Group A BMWs knocking around. Look at this bad boy. 2002 Turbo. How nice is that? Not been on track though, sadly. So uh, we've not seen any of that one rip roaring around the circuit so far this week. And they're racing again tomorrow. And look who's driving. Water roll. Nice. So we've got a lot of big names in both the car. Bruno Spengler is taking that one out a little bit later on. So we've got a lot of big name cars and a lot of big name drivers. It's a brilliant class, actually. Chris Nissen will be racing that particular BMW that's just uh, having a bit of work done. So really, really nice. Lots of BMWs because, of course, they were mightily impressive cars in their day and are still spectacular around the racetrack. And then a little bit more modern, but still very, very awesome. DTM died once upon a time in the ICT and uh, the ITC class and then came back in the 2000s and that's one of the Opals as part of it. So the fan village is spectacular. Lots and lots to see and do for all the spectators here at Norris Ring. Once again, some more merchant. I suppose, seeing as we're filming and I'm walking, I can see some track. Didn't actually know there was a bit of track down here. So uh, let's see if we can... Uh, get through the ever moderately aggressive security and uh, go trackside just to finish off this little piece for the vlog. It's uh, kind of like out of the range of what we normally do these vlogs in but it's just to see the crowds, to see the sunshine and to see the bevy of different things. It's just too good an opportunity. In fact, this is taking me not into the grandstand but it's taking me into the tunnel that will then go over the other side and uh, have a look at some of where the spectators can line up on the very famous uh, banking the other side everywhere you go in Norris Ring it's a small track but everywhere you go the views are just well so I'm told anyway I've not had the chance myself the views are just spectacular so I'm not going to go all the way under the tunnel you can see a few cars that's one of the support racers just going around now so we're not going to bother particularly watching that one but uh, a great place if you ever get the opportunity to come to Norris Ring to catch some racing then apart from the distinct lack of signage anywhere I would highly recommend it because it's a, a great venue to go racing and uh, that's about it for me I need to wander back up and you know do some work in our own paddock so uh, there you go that's your slightly off key for what we normally do in these kind of things just a quick walk around and a bit of a nosy at many, many cool different things that are happening here at the Norris Ring. And uh, let's see if our boys and girls in TCR can put on a show for the fans at home. I've got a feeling it's going to be rather spectacular. And of course, you have the benefit of watching this recorded after the event. So you'll be able to tell me if my feeling was right or not, uh, because it will have happened by now. And no doubt you'll have watched it and enjoyed it as well. So there we go. Another part of the vlog over and done with. I have no idea where I've walked to. so. Let's go try and find our hospitality truck. Till next time, thanks for tuning in and I'll uh, see you in part three. Bye bye.